now i will show you how to do totaling and finding average on the grid cells on the basis of grid cell data so now you can see visual basic interface with a grid loaded with few rows and columns now display 1 to 10 in the first column for that double click on the form so that we can go to form load and write the codes so first of all we can declare a variable tim r as byte r for rows now we can use a loop like for r is equal to 1 2 suppose 10 and you can write next and now here you can write grid dot test matrix now the value of row and column is fixed the first one is equal to r so this code is very simple we have used earlier also r means 1 to 10 it will keep on adding values here and storing displaying 1 to 10 you can start you can see 1 to 10 is coming now we will leave one cell and display the total here of this column we will pick up the values from the grid and do the total here so how to do it for that close the program and now declare a variable total dim total as integer we are using integer because it might have a bigger value total will be used for storing the values of total in this one so now here you can give total is equal to 0 so this is important to give it means in the starting it should be 0 now you can come inside this loop and you can come below it so we know this grid will keep on displaying rows value from 1 to 10 so here you can write total is equal to total plus you can give this grid test matrix this value you can copy and you can paste it here so this way what it will do in the starting when r value is 1 it will display r means 1 it will display 1 in first row of the grid using the test matrix now in total so in initially total is 0 so it will add 0 to the grid value this will give the value of this one that is 1 so 1 plus 0 is equal to 1 so it will be 1 in the first case when r will become 2 so 2 will be displayed and this 1 will be added with this 2 to make this one as 3 so it will keep on running 10 times and values will be keep on adding to the total so final value will be stored in total now to display the value here you can write grid dot test matrix you can give the row value like we have used 1 to 10 at the top give a gap so next one will be 2l comma 1 first column now is equal to total so whatever is the value of total display in this part that is 12th row and first column so this way you can do the totaling now let's see start the program so you can see the totaling of these cells is 55 so you can do the totaling this way so now how to find the average so we need the average of 55 here so what we can do is stop the program so as we already have the total so copy this and paste it here so you have to increase the row value from 12 to 13 this total will display 55 so make it divide by 10 as we have 10 values now play so you can see 5.5 .5 is getting displayed so this is the average this is the total so this way 
you can use the total and average functions now I will show you one another example as you can see 1 to 10 is displayed make it 10 times so whatever is displayed multiply it by 10 and display it here so for that stop it you can just see R is displaying all the logic is ready the code is ready you can just do multiply it by 10 if now if you play so you can see all the values from here to here it have displayed from 1 to from 10 to 100 now in this column display just half of it so if it is 10 it should be 5 if it is 20 it should be 10 just half of this one so how to do it so let's stop now let's build the logic so you can see this for loop will run from 1 to 10 and this will run for fixed first column so what you can do come here copy this code and divide it and paste it here and instead of first column make it second column and whatever the value is coming you can say divide by 2 just simply so it will make half of it now let's try so you can see just half of it has been displayed this way now I need percentage of these two in this one so 5 is what percentage of 10 10 is what percentage of 20 and 15 is what percentage of 30 so how to do it so 5 will be multiplied by 100 and divided by this one so simply in the loop only we can do the code for that stop the program copy this code again this is for second column now paste it here and make it third column so now the value what it will so it should do it will take the value of the first one that is r by r by into 10 is equal to 10 times that is the first one divide by 2 is the second one so this part is second value so what you can do give a bracket here second value multiply by 100 divide by first value so this is first value so copy it and paste it here so we know how to take out the percentage the second value multiply by 100 divide by the first value so now you can see so you can see it should come 50 but it is coming 5000 let's see what is wrong stop it and you can see here what is wrong here in the code you can see here bracket is missing that is the only problem now you can play now you can see in all the cases it is 50 suppose you need 50 percent percentage sign also in front of it so what you can do in this one here you can say m percent and in double quote you can add percentage so whatever is the result a text will be added the text is percentage now start so you can see 50 percentage is coming so this way you can display data in a sequence do the totaling take out the average and take out the percentage also this way so this is the end of our tutorial thank you